Good evening. Well, this is lecture three in this series. And tonight, I'm going to begin to explain some of my personal experiences uh, that are normally kept quiet. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that. One, I was um, an executive vice president of a big corporation for 30 years, and I can tell you that they, if they knew what I'm going to tell you tonight, they would have found a way to get rid of me, um, even though I, my production of work was at a very high level, it wouldn't have made any difference. Um, as I said before, that I have temporal lobe epilepsy, so that explains some of it, but other things about what I'm going to tell you uh, is a little more complicated than just the fact that I have temporal lobe epilepsy in my left hippocampus. So here we go. I was driving to work, which meant that I was driving down to make presentation. Um, and I usually left early because traffic here in LA is very, very bad. And, and I wanted, I'm always on time. I like to be early. So I left very early in the morning. So I got down over the hill very quickly. And in fact, so quickly that I had uh, about two hours to kill or an hour and a half. And um, so I parked across the street from where I was going to make the presentation. Um, And it was a cemetery. Now, this particular cemetery is where my parents, my grandparents are buried. So I used to go there quite often to visit their graves and to pay my respects. But that's not what I was doing today or this day. I went there specifically to visit this one mausoleum that has a absolutely stunning, beautiful statue of, of the Virgin Mary. Now, of course, to me, she's a goddess and not the Virgin Mary, but that's not really relevant to the story. So I enter the building. Sometimes it's locked and I can't go in, but today I needed to go in, and so the door was unlocked. Those things, those synchronicities happen quite a bit in my experience. When things need to be done, they're done. And in this day, I needed to get in. So I entered, and everything seemed fairly normal. Um, it was quiet. Stained glass windows were beautiful because it was early morning and the sun was rising, rising um, in the east and, and shine, shining light on the glass and the glass was making colors all over the floor and all over the goddess and uh, the Virgin Mary. And I was mesmerized by the atmosphere. So I thought, well, I've got plenty of time, so I might as well sit down and meditate and see if I could see if there's any particular energy that wants to speak to me. Uh, and because there usually is, but sometimes there's not. It's just a quiet place. And this particular day was rather warm and it was cool to the touch. The marble, the... Uh, the whole atmosphere was very cool. Anyway, so I was sitting there meditating and it began to get very dark. Suddenly it got very dark and it started to rain and there was a storm with lightning and thunder. And I was thinking, wow, that that's kind of unusual for this area of California to have an electrical storm like this. I mean, the thunder shook the building. It was rather frightening. The light that had been so beautiful and made such a myriad of colors was now faded and it got darker and darker inside the mausoleum. 
So my vision of the area was not so precise. And then there was an explosion of thunder. It was just staggeringly loud. The whole building shook. Lightning hit. The rain was just pouring down on the roof. And part of the roof is a stained glass window. I mean, it's up on the ceiling, but it's still beautiful and it produces these colors. And then I noticed that standing in rows, each row of the mausoleum, because I could see it from where I was sitting, there were beings standing along in a row, like they were standing next to their graves. But I didn't think of them as the dead. I thought of them as more like spirits or spiritual beings. Uh, there were many of them. There was probably 20, 30 of them standing in rows. They didn't speak. But every time the light flashed, I could see a reflection of of them in the in the light of the of the uh, the lightning, and I wasn't afraid. There was no fear. Uh, as a matter of fact, there was a remarkable uh, element of peace about the whole experience. And then I looked deeply into one of the rows, and I saw this female figure coming toward me. She was dressed in white. She had uh, robes on. Um, she had red eyes, which is common in my experience. And she came forward rather aggressively towards me. And she asked me, what was I doing there? Now, that's not uncommon for spirits to, to, to ask those kinds of questions because mortals don't really belong in certain dimensions. And I had passed over one dimension into another. And I answered her that I had come for comfort and it was comfort that I was seeking. And she said to me, you have comfort here. It's available to you. And she touched me gently on the shoulder and smiled. And I felt a release of anxiety and, and pain that I was feeling when I walked in that morning. I hadn't felt so at peace for a very long time. And she looked into my eyes with her red eyes and she pushed away all the negativity that was surrounding my consciousness at the time. I, 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 it's hard to explain. I was so caught up in my own ego that I was I had this enormous anxiety, and in a moment, it was gone. She took it away. And then she touched me one last time, and she turned, and she said, it's going to be a good day for you, a blessed day, a holy day. Accept this gift from me, from me personally. I had no idea who she was. I knew she was a spirit. I didn't know she, was, she wasn't human, but I immediately felt in my heart a release. So I turned in in a moment. There was another lightning flash, thunder, and she was gone. And I sat back and I looked down the aisles and all of those other beings, whoever they were, living or dead, spirit or not, 
were gone, and she was gone. And I thought, oh, I better get to my presentation. I better leave and get on down the road. And I, I didn't really feel like I wanted to do that, but I had to get that done. And after all, it was my responsibility. So I got up, kind of dizzy, I must tell you, and but feeling extraordinarily good. Wonderful, as a matter of fact. The rain was pouring on the building. So I walked out the door and it wasn't raining at all. It was a bright, sunshiny morning, about 80 degrees. Sky was blue and clear. There hadn't been a storm. There hadn't been anything that I experienced in the building. It was all gone. Just like that. So I got in my car and I drove to my appointment. Made my presentation and left feeling whole in a very unique sort of way that I never expected on that particular Monday. So that's it for tonight. And I hope to see you next time. And I'll talk about another experience. Blessings to you and peace.